One of Jacksonville's longest running cold cases wrapped up today with a sentence of life in prison for Michael Haim. Haim was convicted in April for murdering his wife Bonnie back in 1993, but the legal process is technically not over. We spoke with Haim's attorney who plans to file a notice of appeal within 30 days. Right after today's sentencing, though, I got the chance to sit down with Haim's son, Aaron Frazier, who spent his whole life trying to find justice for his mom. I hoped through this maybe he would find a conscience and come out and say that he did it and give the family answers that, you know, that's really all we wanted. 29-year-old Aaron Frazier was hoping for more through the court process and the conviction and life sentence of his biological father, Michael Haim. But he told me he's not surprised Haim never confessed or apologized for murdering Aaron's mother, Bonnie Haim, back when he was just a toddler. This is Michael Haim on January 7th, 1993, sitting with his aunt in his Northside home, telling me how he didn't know where his wife Bonnie went after an argument the night before. That night, I met three-and-a-half-year-old Aaron as I was reporting on his mother's disappearance. Years later, a grown-up, Aaron Frazier, would discover his own mother's remains in the backyard of that very home. Can you tell us about your struggle with pain and fear? You mentioned that in the courtroom and that you would wake up in the middle of the night and, and worry that he was coming after you like he said he would? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I mean, as long as I can remember, I know, I mean, I was scared that he was going to come get me. Um, I slept with a brick under my pillow until I was probably 12 years old and I still have it. Your family has told me that they stepped in and they were heaven sent as well your adoptive parents. Can you tell us about life with the Frasers? Yeah, they're very special people. Um, you know, I think if Bonnie had a part in anything, it was putting me with a family that showed me so much love that I, you know, I wasn't related to. They, but they acted like I was their son and took care of me. And mainly they've just, just been there for me, been support system, and extremely loving family. And he says that support system grew through the years to include countless individuals. Aaron has struggled but is succeeding in life. How do you think this will touch others who are watching or how do you hope it will touch others who are watching? No, I hope if, if there's a woman out there who's in a relationship that's violent, she just needs to get out, especially if there's kids involved. So maybe they can find the strength through you know, through Bonnie, what happened to her to, to make better decisions for their self, their lives, and the lives of their children. And he wants to inspire those struggling in any capacity. You can power through. You can continue your life. You can... The only decision, and the only things that you can control are the decisions that you make. Mm -hmm. And... and to move forward in a way that helps society and your family and you don't have to let things that happened to you in the past dictate what's going to what your future is going to be like you probably noticed Aaron's wife, Alyssa, she was sitting right with them. She was there for moral support as he says she always is. I asked him, "Do you want to raise a family?" and he said he worries his anger will be a problem as a parent. He says he doesn't know if the rage that he struggles with personally is genetic or a result of his mother's murder. I mean, he's been through so much seeing yes. uh, his mother, mm -hmm. you know, die and then finding, yes. finding, you know, her remains at the house. Did he talk to you at all about, about therapy? Oh, absolutely. His therapist is definitely a big part of his life. And he's been seeing that same therapist for years. He says it helps, it keep, help him, helps him keep that rage that he has under control. When he was much younger, he says he didn't know how to trust people. He says everything came out then as anger, but he's learned how to catch it before it gets out of control, which is so very important. That is so important. Wow. Now, if you'd like to see more of my interview with Aaron Frazier, go to newsforjax.com. You're going to find other reports that we've done on the Bonnie Haim case there. And we also, this is very important, we have links to a number of local resources to get help if you or a loved one is a victim of domestic violence.